so I have a video for you today on the look that I'm wearing right here and not to get into a whole long story but I swear to god I walked through hell and back for this makeup tutorial um I tried on like every pair of lashes I owned on my right eye before these lashes I glued on like four other pairs my right eyelid personally walked through flames for this tutorial <laughs> um, but that's okay everything still looks good oh and then my left eye wouldn't stop watering the entire time so I'm like ripping crap off this eye and gluing it back on and this one's just pouring water everywhere so I'm trying not to have like black running down my face it was ridiculous but anyway um, I absolutely love how this makeup tutorial turned out um, this is has got to be by far my favorite look I have ever done. I love looks like this. I love ones that are super warm. Um, the like halo eye thing, you know what I'm talking about? Um, that technique, that has got to be like my favorite technique. Um, and I just really wanted this look to be just dark and smoldery and sultry and just... <clears throat> I just love it. You know what I'm saying? Does anyone understand me? Because I cannot express myself clearly. Anyway, um, yeah, so I love how this turned out. If you guys love it too, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye! So the first thing we're going to do is take our Primetime Eyelid Primer by Bare Minerals. I'm trying this guy out. I've never used it before. And I'm just going to apply that all over my entire eye area. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and apply that, again, to the entire eye area and underneath as well. Next, I'm going to take my eyeshadow from MAC, and this is in Bamboo. And I'm sorry, the color got kind of washed out, but it's this very warm, kind of yellowy, light brown color. And I'm going to buff that into my crease. And this is a MAC 224 brush. And then I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow and I have a headache on this flat jabinesque brush. And I'm going to apply that as my brow bone highlight. So I'm going to apply it all the way under my entire eyebrow. And I'm going to blend it down into the crease. Or towards the crease. Next I'm going to take the Smashbox waterproof shadow liner pencil. And this is in Luminous Fig. And I'm going to put this on the very outer corner and very inner corner of my eyelid and then blend it out with a little brush. And with these, there's really no blending time. Like, they dry almost instantly. But that's okay. And so you're just going to apply that to the outer and inner and then blend it with that brush. Or blend it as best you can. Next, I'm going to take Texture Eyeshadow from MAC, and this is a Sigma E35, and I'm going to apply that into the crease of my eye, and really pack that deep into the crease and then blend it into bamboo. I want everything to be really soft and blown out. Next, I am going to take Saddle from MAC on the same brush, and once again, I'm really um, putting this deep into the crease and then blending it out into those other two colors. Next I'm taking Brown Script by MAC on that same brush and I'm just doing the same thing. Just really putting that deep into the crease and then blending it out and as we use darker shadows you just want it to remain deeper into the crease. You don't want them to come up as high because you want to get that perfect gradient. And next we're going to take Swiss Chocolate from MAC, and this is just a little Real Techniques brush. And first I'm kind of applying it in the crease above where that uh, dark pencil is, and then I'm blending it through the entire crease. And then just blending it out with that brush from before. Next I'm taking Handwritten from MAC. And I'm going to apply that to the outer and inner corners where we put that pencil down before. And then I'm just going to buff along 
Those shadows, I didn't put any on my brush, but just to slightly blend that through the crease. And now I'm taking carbon, I'm taking carbon by MAC, and again I'm going to apply that to the outer and inner corners, but I'm just keeping it on the very, very outer and very, very inner corner so that that other color can show through as well. Next I'm taking Illamasqua Pure Pigment in Ore, and this is so beautiful. And I'm first going to put it down dry in the center of the lid that we left blank. I'm really just blending it into the outer corner colors. You can take the other brush and go back and forth over it um, to get it perfectly blended. And then we're going to take that same pigment on that same brush and spray it with my MAC Fix Plus and play, apply that, man I can't talk today, to the very center of my eyelids. And then once it's on I'm going to kind of go back and forth over it to smooth it out. And then just when you guys probably thought I couldn't put anything more on my eye, I'm taking MAC Reflex Antique Gold Glitter. It is so beautiful, the camera's just not doing it justice. And again, I'm going to pat that in the very center of my lid and then blend it out. And this is really just about the same color as that pigment, pretty much is the same color and it just adds this beautiful glitter in person. It was just twinkling like a Christmas tree. It was amazing. And then I'm going to take my Lord & Berry eyeliner in black and I'm going to line my upper and lower water lines with this. Then I'm going to take that little brush from before and I'm just going to smudge out that liner. Next I'm going back in with brown script? Yeah, brown script. And I'm focusing all the shadows I put in the lower lash line primarily on the outer corner, but I am going to drag this color all the way into the inner corner. And just blowing out that lower lash line and blending out that liner. It's so amazing. Then I'm going back in with handwritten and I'm going to again apply this just on the outer half of the lash line. So again you'll have that gradient from dark to light. And then going back in with carbon I'm doing the same thing but putting this on the outer fourth of my lower lash line. And then I'm going in with Bamboo from MAC again, and I'm going to use this to buff out the entire lower lash line to make sure everything is completely blended. Next I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and I'm just going to very, very thinly line my lash line. I don't want anything thick because I want you know, the colors and everything to show through. Now I am using these NYX Wicked Lashes and these are in Bashful. If you have bigger lashes that look the same as these, use those. Like if I had three pairs of these lashes, I would have stacked them all on top of each other. But I guess I didn't have any lashes in that same kind of style with the longer in the center and shorter in the inner and outer corners, but you know, it's all good. All right, you guys, so that is all for this look. This has got to be my favorite eye look I have ever done. Um, so yeah, I love this. It's just so warm and smoky and sultry and smoldering. Like, this is like the epitome of what I want my eyes to look like every day. <laughs> I absolutely love this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't to give it, don't, <laughs> Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!